Hello, this is video is the first in a series of tutorials I will be starting, and a lot of people have been requesting me to make some coding tutorials for Lee Squadron, since there are, there are not really any out there, and so I just decided to make them to fulfill your request, and so I can see all the new codes that you guys can possibly make, and I'll be able to enjoy them too. Um, please make sure to, if you already know this stuff in this video, just watch it anyway so you get an, a review and you can be prepared for the coming lessons. If you don't know what I'm going to be explaining, then that's then this tutorial is for you and you're going to be learning how to code. So we're, this video is going to start at the very, very, very basics of coding. So this lesson is going to be about addresses and values and how you can change them and which ones you can change and which ones you can't change. Uh, so let me show you let's start off with max players online this is the address line every code value has an address this and a value this see this is the address for flash this is the value for flash this is the address through for walk through walls this is the value for walk through walls remember that the left left code line is the address and the right code line is the value that is extremely important and one of the most fundamental basic things on coding for elite squadron so you need to remember the address and the value so something like max players online this is the address for max players online this address controls max players online and this address only this address will not control max players online this value if you change this value with this address here the the value for this address de de determines the amount of players you will have in the game so you can set you can change this max players online value because it is a value that can be turned up or down because it controls the amount of players you have in the game so something that controls the amount of something normally you can change or even something that controls the speed of something you can change because you can control how fast or slow something goes by turning the value up for faster or down for slower same thing with the online if you want more players to be able to come in your game well then change the value higher and now more people can come in your game um, this is not the actual number of players 16 is not the actual amount of players that will not will be allowed in your game if you set max players online to 16 there's actually two types of values there's hex value which is this one and numerical value which is not dis displayed on the computer I'll show you later on the PSP I'll have a at the end of the video or some point in the video I'll stick a clip of the PSP in showing you so when you change codes that have to deal with val with numbers like the amount of money you want or the max amount of players you want in the game you don't look at this for how much amount of numbers you have you have the numerical value which I'll just write it out here for now mm, put it up here recall value if I misspelled that then oh well don't be a Nazi grammar or grammar Nazi anyway so if I turn this to 1 the numerical value will be 1 if I turn this to 2 numerical value will be 2 all the way up till 9 it will be the same but when this numerical value will only be displayed on the PSP, Coder PR, or whatever cheap device you're using. So, I'll show you, once again, I'll show you the clip of that later. But anyway, um, after you get up to 9, it will go to A. And here it is. The value for numerical value has changed to 10. Now that is because, let me write it out down here. The values for numbers and the values for 
hex is different. The reason why there's letters in this is because after you get past, you can only have one digit for each uh, spot. Like, if you get 10, say we wanted this value to be 10, you can't have 10 because then it becomes a separate separate thing. This value would become 1, this value would become 10. You can't have a two-digit two number inside of a code value because then it becomes separate. You can only have one spot per number. You can't have a value for 10. So what they did was they replaced the, the two-digit numbers with letters. A, B, C, D, E, F. That's how high each each value can go to. You never see, uh, you only see up to F. See, you see F here. You will never see a D. No, I mean not D. Sorry, there's D right here. A B C D E F G. You will never see a G in a code line. You'll never see anything past F. You'll only see A B C D E and F. So the value for B, the numerical value for B, is twelve. The numerical value for C is 13. The numerical value for D is 14. The numerical value for E is 15. And I'm sure you can guess what the numerical value for F is just by looking at this, which is, of course, 16. So that's why this is different. Because this that's why the numerical value is different than the hex value right here so when you're changing a max players online code any type of code that has to deal with a number changing you look at the numerical value on your PSP to get the exact figures that you want to change to now that we have that out of the way let me take this out of here we can uh, now proceed to this code this is a uh, flash it controls your running speed and once again certain codes like uh, speeds of running speeds of movement etc could be turned up or down if I wanted to walk a little bit slower then I'd change the value down now I wouldn't change the first value because that would drastic drastically change your code so 4 is right here I would never change this code. I would start from like here on flash or anything that has to do with speeds and st work your way down or up depending. If if you change a value, go in and test it. Like say I wanted this to be 1 or something. Go and test it and if it changed your speed too fast or too slow, then put it back to the way it was and if it, if it changed it too fast then go down a couple and change it because this is higher uh, higher value to change because uh, think of this like this I'll just this is not how it really is but think of it like this 40 million uh, 40 million whatever 40 million think of it if you change this one it's not 30 million you just made 40 million really like you took you took 10 million 10 million out of that but if you change this you only added a one dollar or or if you took it away then you only took away one dollar so you, think of it like that the higher the closer to the this part of the code you go the on values the high the the higher the change is going to be so this is going to be the lowest amount of change in your speed or your money and this is going to be the highest amount of change in your speed or money or whatever if it's a code that can be changed the value up or down now values that can't be changed like up or down are codes like this like walk through walls this is the code for for uh, the default this is the code address for walk through walls now 
the wall was solid before and they changed the code to have a different address that would make the wall not be solid or any type of ground or anything so you can't change this up or down because it's not a value you can walls don't have a number of wall if if this was like a a number of walls that are spawned on map and it had like four walls spawned and the value was 0004 then you can change that up or down but something like this you can't make it go up or down because it's not a value like a uh, number value or a speed value it's just changing the walls to not be solid so something like this you can't change you can only change movement speed and number values and stuff like that same thing with uh, like head code you can't change the numbers up or down to make, to have bigger values I mean stuff like the size of a head uh, if it controls like the size of your head maybe you can turn the value down to make your head size smaller or turn it up to make it bigger but stuff like walk through walls or let me bring up a code list stuff like jetpack always enabled you can't change exit game any type of codes that aren't like most codes you can't change the values up or down to only codes as I explained before that are numerical or speed or stuff like that anyway moving on we also have these types of codes I'm gonna teach you if you don't know how to put loadouts in these type of codes you can change uh, these type of codes are I'm trying to think of how to say this are codes that um, you can swap values out because let's say like objects like if you have a head code uh, we have a generator let me bring that up on our website okay the generators bring up a head generator see like here's the address and here's the value see if I wanted like uh, this to be the address let's just pick a random address and this to be let's say I wanted uh, an Ewok as my head well this is the Ewok see this value you can't change this value up or down like I can't because you can't like change the numbers because it's not a number code it's just this this right here is the value for the Ewok model right here this is the designated value so this value will bring up the Ewok value if you want to change it to let's say a small building cube this is the value for the building cube you can't turn this up or down because then it will not be the value for the building cube same thing with uh... whoops what the hell is that? oh I remember this. anyway same thing with uh... codes like this you can't you can't turn these up or down like you can replace codes like say I, this is primary this is secondary this is like explosive this is like these are all the addresses for each weapon slot primary is right here secondary is here explosive special or whatever I don't even know if they're in order or not but basically you can take you can make blaster rifle be in your primary by putting the value for blaster rifle in the address for for the primary slot or you could put our caster in there and now our caster would be in primary instead of blaster rifle or you could put incinerator in the secondary and incinerator would be in secondary because this is the value the address for the secondary slot okay this is gonna be the part about the controls on the PSP and such sorry for the bad video quality or camera quality I should say I have nothing to record my PSP on as remote joy light will not work for me so basically as I was explaining earlier in the 
tutorial. I'm going to show you the numerical values as visible on the PSP. So here's Max Players Online. Here's the value hex. You can see right here the value decimal. Uh, decimal is the numerical value. So if I turn up C to 9, as I said, now it's A. See now how it's 10, 11, 12, 13, or 14, 15, 16. So if you're if you're trying to change a number code, like you want 21 players in the game, then you look at this code right here, and you can change this one too. See, I know it changes that. So you can always just come over here and change this to whatever you want, not have to worry about figuring this out. Also, uh, for those of you who don't know, I'll right now I'm just going to explain some of the controls for editing codes and stuff. If you want to choose a code to edit, say, uh, let's find a realistic code to edit. Let's say, uh, like Max Flares Online. I'm back here. You press triangle on the code. And now you see this? See the blue arrow? You put that blue arrow on the value, wanna, the number you want to change, then press X. Then that blue arrow will turn green. Then you could press the D pad down or up to change the value. See? Here's another thing, if you press select, you can copy an address, paste the address, copy the value, paste the value. So, you can like, that's useful for, if you're making a loadout, like right here, see loadout 1, 2, whatever. You can, let's say, pretend, we're just going to pretend though, right now. Pretend this right here is the value for blaster rifle. You can copy the value for blaster rifle, paste it in this the address for primary and now you're gonna have blaster rifle in your primary now that wasn't the value I was just using it that's not the value for blaster rifle I was just using a random code as an example because I didn't feel like looking through my database to find the blaster rifle value when this example could work just as well so that's a good thing to use and also swapping things also works for bullet swaps so if you have a bunch of bullet addresses and bullet values, you could swap those and make like sniper shoot shotgun or shotgun shoot uh, arcaster or it also works for like sound swaps. I have some sound values. Where are they? I have icons. I have, uh, oh, here's the values for the guns. But anyway, it works for sound swaps too. So that's the basic controls for Coder PR, and I uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and look forward to seeing you in my next video.